Kyle Larson's dominant comeback to cup continues with another dominating victory, and the Kyle Larson era continues. All that and more coming up next on The Recap. So for the second straight week, Kyle Larson wins. And let's just look at the numbers here. Five straight stages, two straight cup wins, four straight wins if you count as dirt racing. And that's three wins on the season, which ties him with the most wins on the season with Martin Truex. 11 stage wins overall, which is the most in the Cup Series. He's got the most laps led, and not for nothing, but for a guy who was canceled last year, he is selling a heck of a lot of merchandise. Uh, so for a guy that was never going to come back to racing, according to the experts, he's doing pretty daggone good. Also, while we're on the topic, I would also like to point out that if you watch my preview, I totally called this. Check it out. But of those three guys I named who I think are going to be the fastest in this race, hands down, Kyle Larson is in the best equipment and I think is going to win this race because if you look back, although Truex won the last two races, the guy that set on the pole for the last three races was Kyle Larson in Chip Ganassi equipment, which is good equipment, but it's not as good as Hendrick equipment because, in my opinion, I think they're getting the fifth and sixth best Hendrick car from Rick Hendrick Racing. So for that reason, I think Kyle Larson is going to make it two in a row, and he is going to win this race just like he should have probably won the last road course race if it hadn't got called for rain. All right, but enough of my gloating. I'm just super happy I got it right because, I mean, it was pretty obvious. The guy has got <laughs> the best equipment, and he's showing what he can do with the best equipment right now. All right, so let's get to the good and the bad from this weekend. The good uh, Chip Ganassi Racing recovers from last weekend where they finished last and second to last. This week, uh, Kyle, uh, Kurt Busch finished sixth and Ross Chastain finished seventh. So a nice rebound for Ganassi Racing. Denny Hamlin continues his top 10 uh, campaign with another solid top 10. Like it once again, didn't compete for the win, but another solid top 10. Eric Jones with a nice 11th. I grew up a big Petty fan, so it's always good to see Richard Petty uh, Motorsports do good. Uh, Daniel Suarez with that new team finished 12th, uh, so that, that team continues to gain momentum. Good to see Trackhouse Racing come out the gates on fire, and Austin Dillon with no alternator ended up finishing 13th, so that was a pretty good run, all things considered, and Bubba Wallace uh, finished 14th, but he had the blown tire, so for once, that team that has underperformed this year for once overcame the adversity, 14th is not a great finish, but when you consider he had a blown tire and had to do like a whole lap with a flat tire, pretty good recovery. So hopefully 2311 Racing can get their stuff together and start getting some finishes that that car is worthy of. All right, on to the bad for this weekend, Ricky Stenhouse and Ryan Priest. Ricky Stenhouse smoked the wall, uh, moved, moved the uh, concrete pylon thingy, Destroyed his car, and then just the rest of the race, he just kept on, I don't know, being involved in stuff. Uh, Ryan Priest, uh, at the end of the race, man, made my blood pressure rise. He wrecked, and I thought it was going to be another one of those stupid situations where it was going to cost Kyle Larson a win, but it didn't. But once again, he was back there racing for like 20th and wrecked, and then he, he needs to get together with his spotter or something because you can't just pull back on the track, dude, when there's cars coming, but whatever. I mean, not not to bag on him. Ryan Priest is a cool dude, runs modifieds, short track guy, like really cool, but that was, that was not good. That was a bonehead move. So they need to work on that for sure in the future. Eric Amarola, unfortunately, constantly on this list this year. 27th, he was actually having a good run. He got caught up in somebody else's BS, but that's pretty much been the story of his season. Uh, Anthony Alfredo went from a top 10 to 31st in like five laps. So rough, that, that's really bad for him. And of course, William Byron, 35th, he was running top five all day. He got caught up in somebody else's junk. So that is the bad for today. All right, that's all I've got for you. If you don't mind, subscribe down below. If I missed anything, let me know what I missed in the comments. And thanks for your time. Peace.